I'm Maureen and welcome to the special segment of Buying Land and Finding Your Dream Property. Today I'll be talking with you about what I consider to be the top five pitfalls that people have stumbled on when they're purchasing land. Now remember when you're looking and purchasing property to use the services of a qualified professional real estate agent and a lawyer as well. During my 30 years working in the field of property assessment, I've spoken to a lot of property owners regarding their purchasing of land and homes and cottages. And a lot of them spoke openly about their experiences and some spoke of their unfortunate experiences, many of which could have been prevented had the people had taken different action when they were preparing to do their offer to purchase. And from all these stories, the following are what I feel are the top five pitfalls that people have stumbled on when buying property. Starting with number five, skipping a professional inspection. By hiring a professional inspector, you'll receive a full inspection report of the residential structure as per their contract. Now, depending on the property and the circumstances, you may also want to hire other licensed professionals as well. By contacting the professionals and getting their opinion, you'll have a clearer picture of the property and will be able to confidently put in an offer giving consideration any of the work that will, be, will need to be done in the future. Now in some jurisdictions the seller is responsible for acquiring a property inspection prior to listing the property for sale. So if you're in one of those areas ask the real estate agent for a copy of the report so that you can review it and see what work needs to be done. In some other jurisdictions, such as Ontario, Canada, there is no requirement for a property inspection. So the onus is really up to the buyer to get the uh, property inspection done, unless the seller had done that prior. I have met many people who chose not to have a property inspection done, only to have run into problems in the future. One couple thought the house looked fine, so they skipped the property inspection. And then shortly after they moved in, Wood rot was noticed on the outside of the house and the cost of the repair was significant and they were upset that they had to put so much money out shortly after moving into the house. But had the problem been found with a property inspection, they could have put in their offer to purchase with a consideration for the cost of that work or they could have asked the property owner to do the work before they took possession of the house. The fourth pitfall of purchasing property is allowing your emotions to make the decisions. By allowing their desire for one feature overshadow other aspects of the buildings or the, the land have resulted in people either offering too much money for a property or heading into problems down the road. And you can prevent this by keeping an open mind while looking at all the features of the structures and the land. For some people it was a romanticism of the beautiful view or the warmth of the cottage decor, or the lush gardens that drew them to the property. But these beautiful gems soon lost their luster when these people started dealing with problems that they weren't aware of when they wrote up their offer to purchase. Now when they knew this was the property they were in love with and they wanted to buy it, had they had gone back to the property with an open mind and critical eye and reviewed all aspects of the buildings and the land, they would have been aware if there was any issues and they could have taken all those into consideration when they put in their offer to purchase. And now this is another reason why it's a good idea to get a property inspection done by a professional inspector because they look at the property with an unbiased eye. Pitfall number three is not doing their homework. Lack of research and due diligence has caused problems which could have been easily avoided by simply asking a few questions or looking for some more information, like the use permit for a septic or a water test, or checking into the zoning and regulations of the municipality and how they affect the property. There could be numerous things covered under this, and the solution could be as simple as asking the right people the right questions. Now you may also want to look into other things such as covenants, right-of-ways, right-of-use and easements and what effect they have. And we'll be touching on that topic in, in more detail in a future segment of buying land and finding your dream property. Now when looking for land in rural areas, it's quite possible that you'd be looking at properties in different municipalities. So it's important to keep in mind that you don't assume that the regulations and the bylaws in one municipality are the same as another. When you're looking at properties and you're trying to decide which one to buy, ask each municipality the questions that you need to know, um, like for the zoning and the regulations, because most times they are different from municipality to municipality. 
Now, in some areas, the regulations are set out by a higher government, such as regional, county, district, provincial, or federal governments. A new cottage owner purchased the cottage with the intent of putting on an addition to the cottage. And when he was inquiring about the permit, the building official recommended that he contact the Federal Fisheries Department as they had jurisdiction over this little creek that ran along the edge of the property. But ignoring the advice, he went ahead and put on the addition without contacting the federal officials. Now what the new property owner didn't know was that there is a beaver dam further up the creek that was holding water into a lake up there. Now, unfortunately, one day the beaver dam broke and all this water came rushing down the creek, down across this man's property. It washed out the dirt underneath his addition and collapsed the foundation on him. A quick call to the Federal Fisheries Office would have saved that man a lot of headache. Apparently, all he needed to do was install a culvert to divert the water should the beaver dam ever burst. So that one phone call and taking the action that was suggested to him would have been a cheap investment in protecting his cottage. So remember, due diligence and research can save you a lot of future headaches. And now for the top two pitfalls which are closely tied together. And in second place is not getting pre-approved for financing. If you feel there's any chance that you'll need financing or a mortgage to either purchase the property or do work with it after you take ownership, then contact your lender ahead of time, sit down, tell them what your plans are, put in an application, and get pre-approved for financing. This way, when you put in your offer to purchase or when you're preparing to start work that needs to be done, you'll know exactly how much funds you have to work with. And now this ties right in with what I consider to be the number one pitfall of purchasing a property, which is the finances. The miscalculations, underestimations, and unforeseen costs that have caused people a lot of problems. And this could have been prevented by taking all of their costs, writing them down, adding in an extra 20% overage, and then sticking to their budget. Well, there you have it, what I consider to be the top five pitfalls that property owners stumble on when buying land. Not getting a professional inspection, not doing their homework, allowing their emotions to affect their decisions, not getting pre-approved for financing or a mortgage, and miscalculations, underestimating their budgets, and not allowing for unforeseen costs. Some of the topics coming up in future episodes are rights of ways and rights of use, their definitions and their differences, covenants, what they are and how they may affect you. And coming up in part two of buying land and finding your dream property, we'll continue on from part one and start your search for real estate. Now, thank you for joining. I'm Maureen, over and out, and take care.